With a former boss awaiting trial, Nissan's current boss is under pressure too. Results on Tuesday show operating profits plunged 45% in the last fiscal year. Its weakest earnings in over a decade are expected this year. Discounting its sales in North America has been one key challenge for the Japanese car maker. The saga of Carlos Ghosn, the other. Most of the problems we face concern the negative legacy of our former leader. Released on bail last month on charges of financial misconduct, he denies Ghosn's departure from Nissan and as chief of alliance partner Renault has revealed cracks in their relationship. Sources from within the companies now tell Reuters Renault is eager for a change of Nissan leadership as a prelude to merger talks. Investors keen too apparently on further integration to unlock the value of the two carmakers' shareholdings in each other and deliver faster decision making. As for the Nissan boss himself, he acknowledged a difference of opinion with Renault's current chairman over a closer tie-up. I have reaffirmed with Mr. Senna that now is not the right time. Nissan has to focus on our recovery, which I believe everyone agrees upon. Japanese media reports suggest Nissan rejected an earlier merger proposal last month. Sources say the issue may come to a head at a Nissan director's meeting as soon as Wednesday, ahead of a full session next week.